Christmas entertaining means different things to different people. Some like it traditional, others like to keep it nice and casual. That's why I've looked at four scenarios to help you celebrate the season. One of the recipes I'm featuring this month is for an impressive baked ham. It's a little bit different because it's cooked in a rich bread pastry. I've got a lovely Barossa ham. You need to ask for a double smoked carving ham. It will have a bone in it, but that's easily taken out with a small knife and a bit of elbow grease. Then remove the skin, just using your hands really. Leave about a centimetre of fat to keep it nice and moist. Then with a sharp knife, score the fat and then smear the whole lot with this delicious Beerenberg fig and cinnamon jam. You can't get more South Australian than that. The recipe has all the details for this dough that you can make a couple of hours before or even the night before and leave it in the fridge. Roll it out to an oval and then you need to use the rest of that jam to smear the bottom of the dough. Then we just need to wrap the ham and totally enclose it in this dough. Bring up the sides. Ease it over the top of the ham, taking care not to break it. We want it nicely sealed to keep it moist. Lift it onto a baking tray lined with alfoil and baking paper and then brush it with a beaten egg. While you're doing this, your oven is preheating to 210 degrees. Then we pop our beautifully glazed and wrapped ham into the oven and immediately drop the temperature to 170 degrees. After three quarters of an hour, you'll need to cover it loosely with alfoil to stop it from burning and then leave it to cook for another three quarters of an hour. And this is your finished result and inside a beautifully moist and delicious ham. Remember this will keep warm for about two hours. Serve it with some beautiful caramelised fennel and some fresh glazed figs. You'll find this recipe on our website and in the November issue of SA Life magazine. My take on a traditional baked ham.